we wanted to make a fancy pastry more relatable and accessible to people because we wanted to share the joy of bread and butter to more people. One day, I thought, Butter Boy, catchy siya. Alliteration siya, Butter Boy. And the story of the brand is there, di ba? I learned uh, how to make croissants first from a friend ng mom ko na chef. And she taught us using a recipe from another chef who worked in a cruise line. So, kinain namin ni Jason, sabi namin, Oh, this is good, no? Pero, how do we make our own idealized croissant and manifest it to reality? So, from there, it was all about knowing what we wanted in a croissant. No? So, that meant, uh, number one, gusto namin lasang uh, manamis-namis, na malinam-nam, na maalat, na familiar sa panlasa natin, na parang pandesal. And number two, gusto natin na crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. And andun dapat lahat ng qualities na nasa isang traditional croissant, which is yung honeycomb na crumb, yung visible layering, etc., etc. And most importantly, gusto namin maging uh, mas affordable siya kasi gusto namin mas maging accessible to, to more people kasi diba, swak to sa panlasa ng Pinoy pero ba't hindi siya swak sa budget ng Pinoy? So, from there, we had so many experiments no, on how to make it good and make it affordable. We read every material we could find from books to the internet. Uh, so, yun, series of experiments and plenty of failure. And from there, we learned that it's not really about using the most expensive butter in the finest flour from France or kung saan pa man yan, Narnia. So, it's really all about sticking to what's readily available and learning the proper technique and knowing how to make your ingredients work.